first-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we're talking about the NASDAQ here, looking at a four-hour chart. And as you can see, uh, we have completed an ABCD pattern here. There's ABCD. The reason why this is important to me, folks, and it should be to you too, on page 221 and 222 of Gartley's book, Profits in the Stock Market, by H.M. Gartley, written in 1937 and sold to the public, for $1,500, of which he sold 12 copies, as we know it today. But the reason why this is important, he said in that this was the only time he took two pages to describe one pattern. Now, he didn't use the word Fibonacci through this. He, This was before the time of HML, uh, uh, R, 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 what's it? Ralph Elliott, Ralph Nelson Elliott, R. N. Elliott. It was before his time, but I'm sure they might have known each other during that time or afterwards. I'm not sure, but anyway, on page 221 and 222, he describes this A B C D pattern, and he said it was a single best pattern that you could have where you didn't have to try to pick a top. He said all you have to do was to find an A B C D pattern, the first one after a top had been made, and sell that pattern and it'll get you in the direction of the trend. That's what he was talking about. Now, you'll notice that this high right here, as you can see this very, very clearly, okay? Now, the next chart is the one that's going to say, it's gonna be like a Civil War chart. It's gonna blow your socks off, because it did to me when it was shared to me by one of my uh, uh, followers. I guess there's the cult followers, actually a, a student, but. I want to show you this because this is this is for true, folks. I didn't make this up. I would have liked to, but I couldn't. I'm not that quick. Get this up here and look at this, folks. If you're ready for this and you want to be bullish stocks, be careful. Be very, very careful because today's high was exactly to the Tikarina Rua, to the 382 of the high we made way back here in September. That is dangerous, folks. We made a perfect ABCD, and that is a major, major sell signal. Now, getting on to sell signals, there's a whole lot of baloney going out there, and it's not baloney. It's just stuff that is using astrology about what's going to happen to the market next. I'm going to share with you uh, some of these things uh, that we're looking at here. But remember, uh, all I'm going to do is just give it to you straight the best I can of where I think we are given the fact that we're looking at some of these charts for the first time, well, they're not the first time, but they're there to, to tell us where we are in the market based on what the astrology is telling us, okay? Now, the first one we're going to talk about is one from Chris Carolyn. I want to get it up here because it's a very interesting one here. And he has basically talked, oh, let's get this chart up so everybody could see it, Larry. Be nice if you could put it in here. And here we go. Now, these were forwarded to me by other members of the Dan and the Tiger Financial News Network stuff. But uh, you'll notice these are the, the characteristics of the markets from 1929, 1987, and where we are today. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen or not. All I know is I'm just sharing you the information. I don't know. I will tell you this. Tomorrow's guest, uh, Tim Bost, who's been saying something like this is getting ready to happen sometime towards the end of October, is going to be our guest. And he's got a roadmap. For us to look at so try to not miss the show tomorrow it's going to be a really really interesting uh, roadmap to look at now the next one comes from our good friend over in the valley of the sun dr tb over in las vegas and we want to get this one up here because this one is a little clear if you like astrology you're going to love this one i like it i don't understand a lot of it but uh the trouble is i'm surrounded by people that are very good at it here's the same thing looking at yom kippur 
that type of that type of cycle, which is very important. And I think that you know, once you start seeing these things, you know, maybe they'll make a little sense to you. I was uh, involved with this stuff for you know quite some time, and I had a really good run in it. There, there was no question about that. I had, I, I was uh, extremely lucky, I guess. And so all I wanted to do was to show you one of these, and I had it ready to go. And son of a gun, I can't find it. It's got to be here somewhere. I have it. I send so many charts out that I, I lose uh, track of where I am. But this is where we are. Oh, this is my, that's not, this is not it. I don't think it, there, there, this is the one. Here we go. I've got it. Never mind. Never fear. Billy Ray Valentine is here. Hold on one second. Finally got some sleep last night, folks, after three days. Man, I got a good night's sleep. Okay, here was 1987. Harmonic convergence. We had five planets in the sign of Gemini right here, 25th of August. The mark came down, came down into the solar eclipse of the 27th of August, uh, 27th of September, rallied up into October the 6th. Okay, now that's where we are right now, folks. That's where we are right now, October the 6th. Now this was all done in one day, boys and girls. <laughs> I know 16% in the Dow. You don't want to see anything like that happen, but. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're in a bear market, but I don't think we're going to have a crash. We could. We've got so many things out there that could give us a crash. My gosh, we've got the UK. We've got China. We've got the Ukraine. We've got COVID. We've got uh, uh, oil prices. We've got inflation. We've got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So whether any of these things happen or not, I don't know. The one thing I do know and I will say this very emphatically, and let me get this chart up here one more time because this is a, I'm just a numbers guy. I look at lines and charts and stuff. That's all I look at. But if this one here, right here, and I've been saying this for 10 weeks, don't be long over the weekend. If we get down into here the next two days, we've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If we're down in here on Friday, folks, the ABCD that you're going to be looking at is not going to be this A. B, C, D. It's going to be this A, B, C, D. And that's going to be way, way down toward our target. Johnny's raising his hand. He's got his little placard out there. 3185 is what he's looking fat for in the E-mini S&P. And we're trading just a tad under uh, 3,700 right now. So that's what we're watching here as we look at some of these things here uh, unfolding here this morning. So I hope these questions will answer uh, part of the things that you might have going today. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. I'm going to be the devil's advocate coming up when we get back from taking our break here to go over some of the things that are happening in the market because they could very easily be causing a short side or a, a, a what we call a short side squeeze to the upside too. That could also be happening. So we want to pay very, very close attention to that as we look at these markets uh, moving down. Wow, we've hit the Dow pretty hard here so far today. We've got to talk a little bit about one other market, folks. It is uh, the, uh, the Pope just left uh, the offices of the Treasury Notes and Treasury Bonds. He's given them last rights, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Teddy Kegstad has just announced a live webinar coming up for subscribers to his newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy will be hosting a live 60-minute webinar, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report Newsletter. In this 60-minute webinar, Teddy will be discussing a full breakdown of the markets that influence currency pairs, as well as applying those variables to individual currency pairs, how to evaluate trading scenarios for risk versus reward, as well as a live question and answer session. Sign up now and gain instant access to this live webinar coming up, as well as a month subscription to Teddy's Tiger Forex Report, which comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this live webinar event with Teddy Kegsat Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now for the Tiger Forex Report at the front page of TFNN.com. 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at 1 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, the Pope has just left the Vatican. He's given last rites to the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. This is a chart going back over the last six weeks the 1.618 expansion on this came down as you can see 12108 it's at the moment of truth is where it is folks uh, we have uh, been in a very very strong bear market this is a bear market folks when this rally occurs it's just a rally in a bear market there is no bottom in the treasury bonds treasury notes we're going higher probably six seven eight percent i don't know where but we're going higher there's trouble in river city we've been uh, printing money for 18 years, let's see, no, since 07 with uh, Helicopter Ben and the wonderful idea of quantitative easing, almost as good as the one of negative interest rates, and now the people want their money and they ain't getting it, and that makes them very, very angry, and that's why you're seeing these things happening right now. Now, if we take a look, and I'm going to show you the next chart, which is the long-term view of the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. And give me one second here. I found out. Here we go. As we get this up here, you'll be able to see it. Here's where we are right now. Uh, you can see here, 382 retracement, 382 retracement, 382 retracement. And you see this lower line right here, folks? This is where we're just the beeper just went off on that little puppy. So really careful because if that thing fails, whew, wow, that's going to be a meltdown like you can't believe. Look at this, folks. We're down 16 weeks in a row. And, you know, we've had nothing but 382 bounces all through that. I mean, that's, uh, you know, trying to pick bottom in a market like that is, yeah, not the smartest thing in the world. So. Let's uh, let's remind ourselves of that, okay? It's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. People just ask me again, do I think a crisis is coming? I don't know, and worse than that, I don't even care. As long as the markets are open for business and can show us a pattern, we can make a few bucks. You don't want it to be like 1987, folks. You want it to be very, very orderly, like this treasury bond market and treasury note market. You want to see a really bearish market that we that we had a position in that looked really good for a little while and then just literally gave up the gave up the the, the proverbial ghost. Let's take a look at this one right here, folks. 
This is natural gas. We made really good money on the way down here because we caught we caught some of those bottoms. But the the simple trade, the simple trade, and we got out of the three eight twos and stuff. But look how easy it was. Here's a four hour chart of of the uh, this. Now we took it. We took our shot right here. We bought it right there because that was a 78% of that move right there. That paid really good money. It was well over $1,500 if you'd have taken that. We got out right at the 382. Did I go short? No, I did not. My my bad. I probably should have. Well, retrospect, oh, my God. You can't believe how good I am in retrospect on these charts. Ho, ho, ho. Don't ever stand in front of my paper trading. Anybody, look at this. There's your first 382 retracement, okay? There's your second 382 retracement. There's your third 382 retracement. And now we're heading down to the Big Dipper. We're below, we're substantially below six, folks. And Europe's looking at one of the, supposedly one of the coldest winters that they're ever going to have. I personally think it'll be one of the warmest winters they've ever had, only because I'm a, basically a contrarian. But anyway, that's what you're watching when you're, you're looking at some of these things. Now, the same thing could start to happen now in stock. So we're going to be prepared for that if, in fact, we get to that point. But getting back to the spot, whether I think it's a uh, crash or not, don't really care. All I wanted to do is to trade fluidly because then you can make money. Crashes, folks, there was illiquidity there that day that you do not want to see. We haven't even seen a limit down move in the, in the S&P ever. I don't think so. I, 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 don't, well, I can't remember one. Since these new 7% uh, rules, if the market drops 7%, it locks limit. Wait, it did on election night of 2016. Yes, it did. It was limit down and then turned and had a roaring rally for six years. Now, folks, I have a Christmas present for all of you, okay? This comes from Trader Tom, our good buddy over there at Telegram and Company. Uh, Trader Telegram, I'll have an announcement on that in just a minute. But here is our, our German DAX. Folks, look at this. This is a daily chart. Look, look at the look at the ABCDs. Look at the retracements. Look how pretty that is. You know, I mean, look. All you have to do is sell the lower highs, and you know, you can buy the bottoms and you know catch the rallies. But the easy ones are selling the lower highs. It's that it's that quite simple. I think it's a beautiful chart coming from our friends over at Telegram. I have an announcement for TFNN. Tommy, I hope you're listening, Bubba, because we are going to go to a Telegram channel here pretty soon. In about 10 days, I'm going to do it free for a little bit, maybe a week or two, and then TFNN will do the billing on it. Uh, just like if you're a 24-7, it'll be part of the 24-7 program, but you'll be getting my charts middle of the night. Whenever I send them out, you'll get them instantaneously, just like I get them. Bada bing, bada boom. Whether they make any money on it or not, I don't know. Sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not so good. All I know is if you stick with me over a long period of time, you'll probably make a buck or two. But during that time, it could be a rocky road, and that's what we try to do is to prevent us from getting to a rocky road. Now, getting to the positions that we have on right now, folks, is we have a we had a long position in bonds that lasted for four pips or $131. We're short the British pound. We're short the euro. And we're short gold, and there's one other one that, of course, the stock indices, uh, those are the ones that we have on, uh, we've had on for quite some time. But the one last night, and you know, we, we were talking about those 382 numbers and stuff, those are the ones that you have to look at because, you know, they don't come along very often, but when they do come along, you know, it makes it pretty nice to uh, look at it. And I've got a, a quest request to talk about uh, one of our uh, – stocks that almost all of us use and that is netflix we'll get this up here it's doubled in price folks believe it or not it's doubled in price but you're not going to believe folks i can't make this up this is a weekly chart you see the weekly high that we had right back here that was an exact 382 today up there at 276 and change i don't know where it's trading now but that was the 382 in the netflix so very interesting on what we have going on here today. And we had one other chart to show you. And if you'll bear with me one second, I will get it up here and show it to you. Ah, the dollar index here is one we want because we felt that this dollar index still had a, a way to go to the upside. All we were doing when we were seeing this chart was a formation of an ABCD right in here, which we did, which was right at the old high. 
That was a perfect small ABCD here, five-day correction, and now we're back above that level heading towards that 121 level, which is our ultimate objective uh, in the uh, dollar index uh, for this run. Now, just a few minutes, for five more minutes, we're going to have Adrian Togaray on, a class act. You'll not find a better one. And Well, I'll be a tie with her and Paula T, because she's pretty class act, too, uh, in the female genaria, because those are my only female guests. Shut the front door. I'll have to call, uh, uh, what's her name, Elle McPherson. And she feel, Elle, Elle McPherson and I used to be an item many years ago. Uh, she never did show up for any of my dates, but I always had a crush on her. Anyway, we'll have uh, Adrian Togaray today. Tomorrow, don't miss uh, Tim Boss because, gosh, he's the one that uh, told us to get ready, Freddy, for something crazy. So we'll see what's happened. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, but don't leave. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Adrian Togare trading on target as our guest today, finally. <laughs> How are you, A.T.? Thank you. Oops. I hope you're doing the same. Yes, everything's good. You want to tell the folks what you're going to tell us today or show us? I, I'm going to be telling you, I'm going to be talking about back to basics. Over many years of presenting at Traders Financial Conferences, where I always used to meet you, I found that there was a common thread of how people commented on my booth over the years. I had a sign, and the sign read, We Sell Discipline. Well, oh. 
When, I love it. When, the, when the people first came and looked at the sign, you can imagine the kind of comments that I would get. And then a year later, they would come and they would say, you know, this is important. By the third or fourth year, if they still were in business, all of a sudden I found them <laughs> sitting in my booth waiting for me and saying, what do I have to do now? Yeah. Uh, we have to start with the basics, and the basics are all about the knowledge of the markets. You know, start with the Jesse Livermore book, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator, and then read other classics such as yours. I have a list of some of them on my website under resources. Then listen to podcasts and webinars and radio shows like yours. Perhaps take classes, but do some research on the people that you're committing yourself to. Most, most of the so-called traders who teach you how to trade don't have proven results for making money. Lucky the people that are listening in to you have the resources of, of what you have to give them, Larry, which is very valuable. And you are, you've been an inspiration for so many years to so many people. Uh, in 1992, I gave my first seminar uh, for traders in Hawaii. And there were 15 people in the room. I was teaching this with um, the late Van Tharp and um, another trader. And there were 14 people in the room that were traders, that were active traders. And there was one person who was a lawyer. And I went over to him and I said, why are you here since you've never traded? And he says, well, I've been told by so many people that discipline and the psychology of trading is the most important part of trading so I'm starting with that first wow. uh, he was one of the few people that I've ever met in my career that actually made money in six months of course he had the resources of the people in the room also to count on um, and but he did it the right way you know when a person starts to trade they usually want to rush to make money the problem of being in a rush is that it always proves to be costly and frustrating and take more time to achieve your goals. To be a medical doctor or be a lawyer takes many years and costs boatloads of money. To be a successful trader, it's even more challenging and can take even longer and cost you many losses. It is more of a challenge to be a successful trader than most other professions. But people want to come into it and make mega bucks from the very beginning and that doesn't happen you know consider the fact that only 11 percent of those going into the field earn money and the average earnings of that 11 percent is about 25 percent a year i know most of the people listening can't afford to live on 25 percent of what you have in your trading account the next step after you've decided on trading a strategy is to back off from any trading advice except perhaps from the traders who are successful trading your own system. And even that advice should be put through a filter of how you interpret that system. The one factor different from the same system is the person who is trading that system. After you are successful at consistently following your rules and being profitable, you maintain your success by remembering when to go back to basics. So the basics that I'm talking about is having a system or methodology or strategy, whatever you want to call it, but it's your criteria for entering and exiting a trade. And you also have to have rules for the psychological part of trading uh, so that you, it doesn't get you into trouble. So when do you go back to basics? Well, you start off with the basics. Then you find yourself successful. But then you go through a series of losses. Your strategy isn't working. You're not able to follow your strategy or market conditions have changed. In any case, it's time to go back to testing and or getting help. People that wait to get help usually find that, that it takes longer to become successful again. Because if, the, if there are those losses, why are there, there those losses? It's either because your strategy doesn't work or you can't follow your strategy, which means you don't work. 
another time to go back uh, to basics is your neurology must adapt to energy change uh, in your environment and focus, and that's after a vacation. You know, after a vacation, you you, you feel, well, he, here I'm well rested, and I'm just going to go back doing the same thing that I did before, and I'm going to get the same results. No, your energy has shifted. That's when you have to go back, and, and the basics aren't going to start as long as they started the first time, but you have to pull back and <clears throat> look at your strategy, maybe... Um, sim trade it for a week before you get back into the swing of things. Then, of course, going through any major changes in your life, and they could be good or bad. Um, they could be um, getting married, getting a divorce, losing someone, being a fired, changing jobs, christenings or bar mitzvahs. Anytime you have a major energy shift, <clears throat> either from yourself from your spouse or from one of your children, if there's an energy shift in your environment, uh, it could be at work, uh, but if there's an energy shift in your environment, there will be an energy shift in you for uh, trading your system or methodology. Remember, you are the one that are, that's trading that system. So that is going to be the biggest factor in your results. Uh, Another time to go back to basics is, <clears throat> excuse me, after a periodic review, changing your criteria for entering and exiting a trade, changing your time frames, changing the times you spend trading, all changes in trading will affect the balance of the decisions make, making process. So a periodic review should not be every week or every month. It should be like every three to four months. Assuming your strategy works and you've, you've back tested, you've forward tested, you've sim trade, you've done all that stuff, and you're, you're consistently being profitable, uh, it's not time to, to look at getting more profitable uh, until you have let that uh, strategy settle in, settle into your neurology. Uh, to to where you're you're at, you're behaving automatically. Once that happens, then it's time to uh, do a periodic review to improve on yourself or improve on your system. And that's the time again to go back to basics. Wow. Then, of course, market changes. I mean, the markets have been like, oops. <laughs> hey, that's it. We got to pay a few bills, darling. You be with us another segment, please, because we want to get some Absolutely. information on how the folks can reach you. Adrian Togare, folks, a classer act you'll never find. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Adrian, I really enjoyed that back to basics because, you know, I've been doing this for so long. I forget the basics sometimes. You know, I worked with Mark Douglas here for five years while we lived together here in Tucson, and he drilled the basics into me every day. And, boy, that's something you really, really want to get to. When I go back and look at my losing trades, it was because I wasn't back to basics. So that's worth the price of admission. Do you want to tell the folks uh, some of the services that you offer for them? Well, let me finish this little mini wet workshop, oh, 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 and then I'll sorry, give that I, I information. Thought, and I, I, if people would like to uh, write a question or two in, uh, while I have time, I'd love to answer them. Uh, but we were talking about uh, back to basics, you know, after a series of losses, back to when you're from a vacation, going through a major changes after a periodic review, and also after market changes. You know, the markets have been like uh, – uh, a roller coaster ride uh, lately, and you know some. If your system hasn't been uh, tested during the times of those those uh, big changes, uh, you have to see how your your system will work within those changes, or you might have to back off and get, go back to basics. And then, of course, there's major news events. Uh, Whenever there's a major news event, there's going to be a big change in the market. And how does your particular strategy work then? Again, back to basics. The way to get in touch with me is uh, tradingontarget.com. And I have a home study course to offer. Uh, it has an evaluation and a consultation with me, and I can tell you exactly where your problems are and what you have to do to overcome them, psychologically, that is, not trading-wise. And uh, to those people who are listening in, I will give a major discount uh, till the end of the week if, they, if you call me. And you can reach me by um, my phone number. You'll find it on uh, tradingontarget.com. And uh, at this time, I'm going to ask Larry, are there any questions that have come in? I'm going to let, let Al handle that because he's the handling of the questions, Persick. Oh, they want to repeat the number on the air, and that is 919-852-9190? No, no, no. 919-851-8288. That's 919-852. I'm sorry. Let me do it again. 919-851-8288. I never call myself 851-8288. That's why. Folks, if you're having trouble, give her a call because she can help you out. She's, she, she helped me out uh, many times. And, uh you know, I, I threaten to call her all the time about once a week when I have a bad day, but I know she doesn't have that much time. So, hey, thanks no, for no, joining no, us. No, 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 Larry, you're, wel yeah. you're welcome well, anytime. Anytime I, I'd love to talk to you. Well, I just, certainly enjoy your time. Even if you just time. want to say hello. That's for sure. And thank you for the kind words you said about me. I really. Oh, I have one question for myself. Did you ever work with Ed Sakota? 
Well, you know, it's it's funny you should mention that because I, I said that my first seminar, my first training seminar was at Andrew yeah. Starp and at, at Sakota. So the three of us worked together. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, I didn't that, know that. Wow. that was an, a very, very interesting yeah. experience. He is yeah. – uh, the one thing that uh, stood out to me, which I'll never forget, is we're, we're standing on the beach together. I mean, he's in his shorts and flip-flops, and he looks at me and he says, I've got to go make a cotton uh, trade. And I said, well, how do you know to do that? And he says, I, I sense it. I feel it. I said, without a computer? He says, I don't need a computer. And he goes running off. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, he spent he never, years he, with with charts on the wall, I and know, and going yeah. from from uh, day to day, from hour yeah. to hour, and yeah. and uh, predicting where the markets would go, uh, yeah. and that's how he he, he developed his uh, his intuition. Yeah, he was he was very good. He never lacked any confidence. Boy, he was the most confident trader I think I ever met in my whole life. He was actually surprised <laughs> when he took a loss. How what, how could that happen? You know, he he was really good at what he does. But uh, I don't, yes. is he still alive? He was living in Lake Tahoe the last time I heard. He's he and I are about the you same. You know, age, I haven't so. heard from him in yeah. years. So yeah, he did very uh, I, with, I don't I know for sure. Yeah. Well, listen, we'll let you go, and we'll have you on again in a few weeks, but we're going to have you on a more regular basis because you really do bring an area of expertise here that we could all use here in trading. So please be safe, and we'll talk to you really soon. Okay, dear? And happy holidays if I don't talk to you sooner. You bet. You too. Okay, folks, Adrian Tobray trading on Target, and uh, <clears throat> we have another uh, chart to share with you. I think it's an <clears throat> Just give me one second, boys and girls. <clears throat> I, I keep repeating you three questions. Do I, I'm going to repeat it again. I don't know if a crash is coming. I don't care if a crash is coming. All I want it to do is trade because all I do is look at patterns all day long, and that's all I'm trying to see. So let's get up here and take a look at this one chart. I posted it, and what I did was I updated it because it keeps coming down, and we are really close to what we call the proverbial moment of truth here. And I'm going to get this chart up, and we'll be ready to look at it. And there it is right here. Get it up right here, and then we'll take a quick look at it. Uh, here's a share of the screen. Okay, this is the note chart updated, folks. All right, I did the bond chart. That went through the number. Here's the note chart. There's the 1.618 expansion of this move right here. This is when we became super, super bearish. We were bearish all through here. We became super bearish here because this was the longest and the deepest correction in the bear market that we had since all during this time. So that's why it was so important. And it was right at the 382 of the previous one which was previous to that one. So what we're doing now is we're completing this pattern, folks. How many people can you find out there that is bullish on notes and bonds? Johnny doesn't even have his hand up. There's zero out there. Now, that doesn't mean it can't keep going lower, but what it means is we're getting really close here to a flight to quality. Maybe that's what people are going to do is to switch over to a flight to quality in notes and bonds. Just pay attention to this pattern, folks. This is not to be, uh, not to be, uh, well, what am I going to say? Lost words. Anyway, if we start going below this level here, below that level where that red box is, that 109, you start seeing a 108 print, throw that chart away because there's going to be a meltdown in this thing. Remember, this market has been going up, folks, since August of 1982 is when the bonds bottomed. They were 56 bucks. In other words, you could have bought a $100,000 bonds for 66 bucks, and it paid you 8.5%. Eight so... This is really important, folks. And here we are over all these things that are happening with Tim Boss. We'll be talking about tomorrow, that solar eclipse and all the other things. So uh, you don't want to miss tomorrow's show. And I hope it's going to be – I know it will be as good as the one that Adrian – but pay attention to the basics, folks, because that's what you got to do. I, I, I don't do that, and I've got to get back to it because uh, – I, I should reinforce it with my students and my colleagues and stuff because back to basics is what counts because I'm a fundamentalist. Uh, hello, Larry. I'm a technician. As you know, that was a little joke. But anyway, I just look at lines on the charts. They look like dots. 
And that's what we're going to see what happens here in these next few weeks of what we're watching here in some of these markets. So we're going to have to pay a few bills here. We'll be right back. Uh, 877-927-6648. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to go where the cash money is, and that's into the Dow Jones E-mini. I want to get this up here to let you see where we stand right now because we're at a very critical spot here in the Dow Jones. You'll be able to see it. That there we are right now. This uh, four-hour chart, we've come down and we've matched up with the uh, really nice 50% retracement. Perfect Gartley. If we break this, then we are headed down lower. So that's basically what we're watching here as we're looking at this here right now. The thing you want to watch is if you just get a little shallow rally and then roll over, that's not going to be uh, very, very good. Okay, now tomorrow we have Tim Bost on our agenda. If you remember, Tim started laying this out to us back on the 26th of uh, September, what was going to be happening. Uh, he's been nailing it pretty good. We had some good help from Shane Smolian, of course, also to, uh, <laughs> let 
<laughs> there's so many people in my mind I can't even uh, we have Tim Boss and then the Stan Harley uh, and then we had uh, oh my gosh I can't remember the other one Norm Winsky so all of us were saying the same thing was happening now so as long as this can hold above this level right here we still got a pretty good chance because this is nothing more than an ABCD over the last couple of days looking at this uh, this chart that we're watching right here we're still way above the levels of support in the S&P, which are at 9507, I mean, excuse me, 3507, where 3580 was our low today. But we gave back over 100 handles in one day, which is not a good sign. So those things are important. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Thanks for putting up with me today, folks. Tim Boss tomorrow and on Friday, I believe, is an open day. Uh, and we'll find out whether we have anything for that. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. 